Sacramento State Volleyball's senior middle blocker, Kalani Hayes, is our defensive player of the week for the second time this season. To no surprise, she's leading the big sky in blocks uh, per set, her average there. But before we get to talking about that, we're going to talk about this weekend. 2-0, and oh, you had nine blocks overall. What was working for you? It was awesome. We had a good week on the road. Uh, honestly, it was kind of surprising. I kind of had a hard week mentally. I wasn't really happy with my play. So when I got this award, I was like, okay, this kind of helps me get out of my head a bit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was awesome. Happy for our team. Two, two good games. Why were you not feeling your best? We kind of talked about it yesterday at practice. I feel like as the season, season goes on and we're winning more and more games and we're having more and more success, I think we all just keep raising the standard that we have for ourselves and I personally kind of struggle with the pressure of playing perfect and so I can kind of get in my head about that um, but it just matters to play hard and play as a team and if we win that's all that matters. Your team is so good too about communicating those feelings uh, you know we talked about that in your first interview with having the yeah. journals having group discussions all the time um, how did that help you kind of get over that funk yeah I'm really lucky I I kind of had a breakdown after the NAU game and I'm just so lucky to have teammates that are there for me and that I can actually talk to about that stuff and can talk me down and reassure me so I'm very blessed with a good team I can communicate with you are leading the conference right now in uh in blocks per set averaging over one and a half or so um per set so so what has been going right for you along with having great teammates our team and our coaches have just created such a good culture that like we want to be the best. We want to perform at our best every week. We're not satisfied. Even if we get a win out, we're not satisfied with how we got it if it wasn't the best we could play. So I think the culture that we've created and just pushing each other and helping each other, it makes us really, really good. We want to really enjoy these last two matches at home. Don't take them for granted. Get these wins out and then grind the rest of the season out on the road senior night this weekend how are you feeling oh I'm trying not to think about it too much um it's just so crazy it goes by so fast I'm like literally getting emotional but yeah I'm excited the emotions why I mean what has your time when you look back what is this time with your senior class meant to you over the years everything we went through so much together with COVID um it's been five years all of us here that's longer than the normal four years everyone gets. Um, but it just goes by so fast and we've gotten so close and I just can't imagine not being with them every day. What would it mean for you in this group to to finish first in, in the big sky as you, I mean, I know you're not really looking at it that way, but what would it mean to have that type of season at the end of this? It would mean everything. I think every year we've been like, okay, we could really get it this year, but I think to finally do it our last year all together, it would mean the world. What's your advice to the younger student athletes, not only on your team, but within the big sky um, in order, you know, just about soaking up this experience? It's a great question. I think it's really, really hard to stay present um, throughout the season and Sometimes it just gets really overwhelming and you don't want to go to practice. You don't want to keep grinding, but I think just remembering that it goes so fast and you're so blessed to be able to go play volleyball because one day our bodies aren't going to be able to do it anymore. I'm already feeling like that. Um, but just taking every moment as I'm so lucky to be here today. There's so many kids that don't get this opportunity and so many people that wish they could go back and be in that moment again. So just really trying to stay present. I love that, Kalani. And last question, you're a fashion designer. We talked about that in your first interview with you and a few of your teammates. How is it going? Give us the update. Yes, so we had another um, little market yesterday. It went amazing. Um, I think it's just really fun because it gives us something to focus on and look forward to outside of volleyball. And I think that's also really, really important for us to not just be 24-7 volleyball players, to have something else outside of it um to give us a, a complete overall life <laughs> plug your brand again tell us the name of it where where people can follow you yes so our um me and my teammates brand or business is called hanging by a thread 444 on instagram 
And then in my personal Instagram bio, I have my little account where I post all my stuff and that's Kalani made it, which is in my Instagram. Give her a follow ladies and gents. Kalani, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on just being a star consistently this season. And here we go. Five matches left. Let's see what you guys can do. Thank you so much. Thank you.